you never know what's gonna happen. You could be going shopping and some crazy driver hits you, but if that's your mindset, then you're not gonna go anywhere because you will just live in the fear that you have of, of what might be and that will suck the joy out of your life entirely. We all let fear and insecurity hold us back, preventing us from reaching the success we are destined for. But imagine this, moving half a world away to a different country. Imagine having no one to depend on or to lean on other than yourself. Now picture trying to excel, to achieve greatness, endless days of studying, to have a career that many aspire to have. Sounds impossible, right? Now imagine doing all of this while having cerebral palsy. It's a disorder that affects brain function. It mostly manifests at either at birth or early in life. Um, it creates problems with movement, uh, motor control, postural control. Ralph was born in Poland 33 years ago. He has lived his entire life with cerebral palsy. Due to Poland's lack of wheelchair accessibility, Ralph's parents had to physically carry him upstairs every day to school. I'm just very grateful because, you know, that's the level of a parent, of, 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 of any family member, really, to give so much of yourself, from yourself, to, to that person that needs that, that help. It not only helped me, but it also shaped me. I've graduated from Warsaw University Law School um, originally. But the future Ralph saw for himself in Poland was not one that he was content with, and ultimately he decided that he needed to move on. I realized that I don't really have any future in a country that is so wheelchair accessible that every time I go to a courthouse or a law firm, I'm, I'm facing flights and flights of stairs. You know, I didn't even know that there was a place that I could be functional, and that puts you in a very lonely kind of depressive place until I, I've heard of Gainesville and I decided to give it a go. I was not independent, so honestly I didn't even know if I would be able to do it. I just got here and that, within that first week I was riding the bus by myself, which was crazy. I have never done anything like this. And every day I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much aware that things could have gone the other way. Uh, because, you know, you need to be functional to a certain degree. Even if you're in a, in a wheelchair, you need to be able to board that bus. You need to get, out, get, you know, get on, get off, and get where you need to go within some kind of a foreseeable period of time. But in 2005, something that was supposed to help Ralph ended up nearly killing him. I got hit by a bus. Uh, I didn't die. Uh, you know, I have some scars to, to, so I can remember this for the rest of my life, but I feel very grateful. Not a day goes by that I don't think about it. My clothes were torn. I've got some scratches. I had road rash all, all over my arms. I still have some of the marks on my back because I was under the bus physically. But then, you know, it's, that's, it, it, it really taught me a lot about life and it made me more humble. Since the incident, Ralph has been pursuing ways to raise awareness for wheelchair accessibility. I was actually approached uh, by a consulting firm a couple of weeks ago, and they were thinking about going to private businesses, having the businesses hire them to do an inspection to see how compliant they are. Later, they decided not to do it in Gainesville, uh, but I thought, why not? I thought it was a great idea, and I also thought it'd be much better if it was actually a nonprofit because people trust institutions that are there for the public benefit. And right now, I'm actually thinking of establishing my own ADA uh, compliance awareness uh, nonprofit that would go into businesses uh, to try to convince them rather than uh, scaring them into submission of. Uh, as to why this is important to be inclusive and be accessible and having all those things. Because, you know, being sued is one thing, but I think if people don't understand why including people in wheelchairs uh, is important, we will never move forward because those things, they, they, they serve a certain purpose. I want to benefit this community where I live. I want to benefit people like me. Uh, and I want to make those matters known. And, uh, you know, but first and foremost, I really want to make people care about this. And you know, if, if you can care about me, you can care about my cause. And I feel very grateful and very humbled by everything that happens to me. I mean, that's the only way you can be in life. And you, you never forget that things could easily go the other way, and you're very thankful to have people and the opportunities that you have in life. Uh, you know, plus I want to have 
a life, a life that I can, you know, dedicate to other people and, and give and make a difference, but, but also be happy in what I do. This is one good inspiring example that sometimes you can grow up and even become a lawyer. So parents whose kids are diagnosed with cerebral palsy should not really give up. Even when things are going bad, you just try to live one day at a time. Because, you know, you never know. Things might turn around, you know?